super yachts, a fascinating and secret world and an industry like no other. Some of the richest and most powerful people in the world spending hundreds of millions of dollars to build their ultimate toys. If you are one of the many who is interested in a career working on these stunning vessels, then this video will help you get started. It's one of the oldest professions in the world, being a crew member on a ship working at sea. And it can be one of the most rewarding professional experiences you can ever have. The allure of the super yacht industry is obvious and separates itself from other types of maritime work such as tangers and cruise ships. Working on the biggest and best super or even mega yachts for the likes of Paul Allen or Bill Gates is an exciting prospect and on the face of it it sounds quite glamorous. The reality however can be somewhat different. Tell people you just spent the summer in Monaco or two months in the Bahamas and they will think of sitting on a beach drinking cocktails. Whereas depending on your career choice, you might be spending that time scrubbing the deck or sweating in a hot engine room. There are however many perks to a life at sea. Some jobs give you rotational work schedules with equal amounts of time off for the days you work, handsome salaries, and if you're a UK citizen, your earnings are tax free. Any vessel operates in a hierarchical system similar to the military. Although on a yacht you may not wear the stripes seen in the other branches of seafaring, the ranks are there nonetheless. A yacht's crew is divided into three departments, deck, engine and interior. Deck department looks like this. Captain or master, first officer or chief officer, second officer. You might find one or two second officers depending on the size of the yacht. Third officer, security officer, mainly on larger yachts, bosun, and deckhands. The number of deckhands depends on the size of the yacht, but it can be up to 10 to 15 on the larger yachts. Engine department, chief engineer, second engineer, sometimes known as first engineer, third engineer, up to three depending on size of yacht. Some yachts may employ a fourth engineer too, but mainly on larger yachts. ETO or electrotechnical officer, electrician on larger yachts mainly, and motorman. They work in the engine room and report straight to the chief engineer and also are mainly only seen on larger yachts. Interior or hotel department. Purser, in charge of crew movements, financial management, etc. Assistant purser, only on larger yachts. Butler, seen on larger yachts, working directly for the owner, taking care of his daily needs. Chef, usually two on a yacht, one crew chef and one owner chef. Chief steward, steward and stewardesses can be from one to 15 depending on the size of yacht. And laundry team, sometimes stewards will rotate in the laundry, large yachts have dedicated crew. As you can probably imagine, working at sea comes with hazards. I mean, we've all seen Titanic. Do not let go of my hand! And as a result, all crew are required to carry out basic safety training before being allowed to work on board. And involves personal safety techniques, fire prevention and firefighting, and elementary first aid.
You'll start at the bottom as a deckhand. The career progression would be deckhand, lead deckhand or assistant bosun, bosun. If you wanted to move on to deck officer, you'd require further qualifications to progress, which falls outside the scope of this video. Basic qualifications required to start as a deckhand are as follows. However, most captains and chief officers I've spoken to say only a powerboat level 2 is required. To start as an engineer, you will need an AEC or Approved Engine Corps Certificate. You will be expected to keep a sea service book to record your time at sea and continually complete training courses to further your skills and work your way up to MEOL or Marine Engine Operators License Qualification. Yachts generally use agencies for recruitment purposes. Recruitment agencies advertise vacancies on their websites and also contact crew who have signed up to their mailing lists. When signing up to any agency, you will be asked to upload copies of your qualifications, sea training, medical certificates and required visas so they can check suitability before sending details to the yacht. They may also hold a telephone or actual interview depending on your location. Note, no yachting agency will ever ask you to pay for their services. They are paid by the yachts using their recruitment facilities. Never pay any website as they are probably fake. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos where we will talk about what happens once you get the job, what life is like on board, as well as perks of the job and salaries.